Hello and welcome everyone to this video on using handling O data navigation properties by Zarantech. But before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our Zarantech YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to never miss any update from us. So hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss association and navigation in O data services. Now the term association. See what is the meaning of it. Association is used to associate header and item entity set. Now, what is the meaning of this header and item? In SAP, you will see the various tables, either it can, if it is belong from sales order, material, or purchase order. In every scenario, we will see we have a header and item tables. And in O data services, you see, so go to any O data project and open any O data project. You will see we will have an entity types in the data model folder. You will see we will have an entity type, and ent and entity types are nothing but just a structure which consists of data type and elements here. So association, what association is doing? It is used to associate header and item entity sets. That is, if you are creating a header and item entity sets, in simple word, if you want to display the item data using header data, suppose in sales or sales order we have. VBAK as an header table and VBAP as an item table. And if you want to display the details of both header and item tables and you are just using VBAK there, then you can simply use the pros process of association so that you can display the data. Now, what is the use of this navigation here? The term itself is suggesting here navigation is used to provide a path to navigate between header and item that is using navigation you can navigate between header and item suppose this this is our header entity set entity sets are nothing but it is a, like an internal table and entity is like an structure or work area the entity type is basically nothing but an work area is similar to work work area where you can store one record at a time but in case of entity set you can store multiple record at a time so see here what is going on here we have our entity set of header then we have entity set of item and we have done an association and this is basically a navigation path that is if you want to display the entire data of both header and item you can use this navigation path to navigate from header to item and you will have to create a navigation path i'm going to show you how is these things are basically done here? So this navigation path is used in UI application to access the header or item information. And we can use this navigation path to access the header or item information. So for that purpose, what you will do, you will simply go to SEGW transaction code and you will create a project. Now, this is my requirement that I want to use the PO purchase order and I will create a header and item for that. So, see what we have done here. Go to SEGW. First, go to SE37. And I have taken BAPI PO create here. BAPI PO underscore create. And see what is going on here. This is my RFC function model which I am using. If you will go to its table section, just wait for a minute. Uh, we have changing tables, yeah, uh, import, export, import, export, changing tables, this is our items, where is my header, KKOC, okay, Copy or PO create, I believe. So for header, see what I'm doing here. I've taken this structure to create an entity type. And if you we'll see how will you create here, you will simply go to SCGW and you will right click on the entity type. Just open it in change mode first. Yeah. Right click on the data model. You will go to import section and you will use the DDIC structure. So first I have created the PO header here. Now see what I have created in PO header. In PO header, if you go to property, I have selected the five fields here. And where I have mentioned the PO number as primary key. Then I have created a PO item. And in PO item, I have selected these six fields. 
and for PO items, I have used this particular structure. You can see we have this particular structure here. Go to table. Yeah, we have got this particular structure which I have used here. And using this particular structure, I have taken five fields from here. Then after, I have created an association. See, this is an association which I have created. And this is association is from here we have got the principal entity PO header and dependent entity PO item. And it the cardinality is between from 1 to M. This is the association which I have done, which I have joined from header to item. Then in case for navigation, I'll see what how we create a navigation. Let me show to you. Uh, simply create. Actually, the navigation is mentioned in the association. Just go to entity type and see this navigation property. When you will create as association, there you will have to provide the navigation property. And this is a navigation property which I have provided the relationship between is I've given the name as PO underscore association. This is how you will be creating your association. Create association. So you will get a pop-up screen. You will name the association here. This is the name which I have given. So suppose I'm giving the new name as PO association one. Then in entity type, I'm giving the cardinality as one. And independent, I'm giving PO item. Let's make its coordinate to zero to n. And here I'm giving the navigation as nav PO details one. This is here we mention our navigation property. That is how we will navigate from header to item. This is how you will be creating your navigation. So after creating your OData project, simply go to service maintenance and add your gateway client and just click on the gateway client to test your OData services. Now simply here, you need to give, let's check for the metadata. Click on execute button. See what we are doing here. Oh, metadata, I need. Okay, so we have got our header set and then here we have got our item set. Some issues happening. Dollar meta data. Yeah, it's okay now. See, we have this navigation property here, and first we have got the navigation property key as PO number, and here we have our PO header, and see you will get your PO item here, and the ref added the key which is responsible for PO header. Wait a minute, again execute. We have the question mark. Put the dollar sign here and click the metadata. Navigation. Okay. Metadata. Fine. Now see, PO number is our primary key on the basis of which we have association we have maintained the association from header to item and here we can see the association pure number this is how association and navigation can be built and later on we can implement our get entity or get entity set methods to get the data from both header and item using this particular association okay so what is association? Association is simply used to associate header and item entity set and navigation is used to provide the path to navigate between header and item. So this is all about association and navigation. Thank you very much.